So here I have a solenoid, essentially a coil of wires, conductive wires, hooked up to a galvanometer. It's just a, something that measures current in microamps and it can swing to the left or the right to indicate the direction of current flow through all of the loops in the solenoid. And I have um, a stack of neodymium magnets acting just like a permanent bar magnet. One end colored red. If we bring a compass close, remember that a compass needle, in this case the north the red side will point in the direction of the net magnetic field. Since it's pointing away from the red side of our permanent magnet, we know that the red side is a north pole and the magnetic field lines are coming out and going to the right and kind of coming back around to the south pole. So we've already discussed that if we have a stationary coil of wire and right now there's a magnetic field strength to the right, we've already discussed that if the magnetic field inside of this changes in strength, there will be an induced current in those coils. So if I move this towards, we're increasing the strength. You can see that the needle deflected to the left. Now the magnetic field strength inside of the coil is constant, so there's no induced current. But if I remove the magnets, we weaken the field strength inside of there. And as that field strength is weakening, there's another induced current swung to the right which meant there's it was moving or moving around those coils in the opposite direction. So we know that varying the strength of the magnetic field inside of a coil causes an induced current and that current only flows when the magnetic field strength is changing. We did discussed how Faraday's law and Lenz's law helped us think about when the when the induced current is present and what direction that current is in. Well, it turns out that just varying the magnetic field strength inside of a loop of wire is not the only way to induce a current magnetically. So we're going to, we're going to do two things. The first thing is we're going to keep our, our magnet stationary. So the magnetic field lines are going to be stationary. And instead of moving the magnet uh, towards and away from the coil, we're just going to move the, the, mag the coil. So I'll position my magnet and hold that stationary and I'm going to move our coil down out of the field of the video and so our coil is not in a strong magnetic field right now because it's off to the, it's above it and if I move this magnet down it's going to move into the strong magnetic field and then out of that strong magnetic field and let's find out what happens if there's an induced current so I'm going to move it into and out in one fluid down motion you can see that the needle swung one way and then the other. As the coil was moving into the field, it induced a current, and as it left the field, it induced another current in the opposite direction. Now I'm going to keep the magnet where it's at, and now I'm going to move the coil of wire up. So it's going to go into the magnetic field and then go back out of the magnetic field. You can see that it swung one way and the other way. So in and out, back up, it's going to go in and out. So you can see that as a coil of wire moves into and out of the magnetic field, there's current induced in one direction and then the other. Let's see if we can find another way to induce a current in a loop of wire. So I'm going to raise the magnet up here a little bit, bring it closer to the camera, camera and I'm going to try to keep that stationary. Bring our loop of wire there. So we have a strong magnetic field inside of there. And if I want to weaken the magnetic field in the plane of the loop, all I have to do is rotate the coil. So I'll rotate it back in. So when I rotate the coil up, so I rotate it out of the plane or out of the magnetic field lines, you can see that there is an induced current in a particular direction. When I rotate it back in, there's an induced current in the opposite direction. So we can also induce a current in a coil of wire by rotating or spinning the coil of wire in a constant direction magnetic field. So we now have three ways of inducing a current. We can keep the coil stationary and decrease and increase the strength of the magnetic field. We can keep the uh, magnetic field lines and the source of that stationary and we can move the coil in and out in a linear fashion or we can rotate the coil in all three of those situations there's an induced current in different directions.